हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फ्लेक्सिबल एक्सचेंज रेट्स अंडर फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट्स द सेंट्रल बैंक हैव टू प्रोवाइड वट एवर अमाउंट ऑफ फॉरन करेंसी आर नीडेड टू फाइनांस द पेमेंट इम्बेलेंसेस दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन आर लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट्स इन अ फ्लेक्सीबल और फ्लोटिंग एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम द सेंट्रल बैंक अलाउ द एक्सचेंज रेट टू एडजस्ट टू इक्वेट द सप्लाई एंड डिमांड फॉर फॉरन करेंसी सो बेसिकली अंडर अ फ्लेक्सीबल और अ फ्लोटिंग एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम द सेंट्रल बैंक डो नॉट इंटरवेन इन द फॉरन एक्सचेंज मार्केट एंड दे अलाउ द मार्केट फोर्सेज ऑफ डिमांड एंड सप्लाई ऑफ डिमांड फॉर फॉरन करेंसी एंड सप्लाई फॉर फॉरन करेंसी सो बेसिकली एक्सचेंज रेट एडजस्ट ऑटोमेटिकली to equate the supply and demand for foreign currency let us understand this thing with the help of a example suppose that the initial exchange rate is 0.86 cents per yen this is the initial exchange rate that we have assumed if us imports from japan is increased we have assumed that the us imports from japan has been increased okay now the demand for japanese currency that means the demand for yen will be increased right so it will create a situation of excess demand for yen okay earlier the equilibrium exchange rate was maintained so first point is us imports from japan is increased okay demand for japanese currency that means the demand for yen will be increased and it will create a situation of excess demand for yen so when we are saying that the excess demand for yen that means this equilibrium this equilibrium okay is uh, is there in exchange rate earlier there was an equilibrium but now it has created a situation of this equilibrium because there is an excess demand for yen fourth point we know uh, that we have already studied in in case of goods market that when there is a situation of excess demand the price starts increasing the same logic will be applied here in the foreign exchange market that when there is a situation of excess demand the price in our case that is the exchange rate will be increased okay in the situation of excess demand the price that means the exchange rate will be increased so let us assume that the new exchange rate is 0.90 cents per yen earlier it was 0.86 cents per yen and now it has been increased to 0.90 cents per yen that means japanese goods become more expensive in terms of dollars that's right because earlier us had to pay 0.86 yen to purchase 1 yen worth of goods okay and now they will have to pay 0.90 cents to purchase 1 yen worth of goods so ultimately the japanese goods has become more expensive and when they have become more expensive for the us citizens that means the us imports from the japan will be decreased okay because the japanese goods be have become more expensive for them so basically us imports from japan will be decreased and ultimately the demand for yen will be decreased and finally because uh, because the demand for yen is being reduced so ultimately again the equilibrium exchange rate will be achieved so as you can see uh, in this example that the central banks have not intervened in the foreign exchange market they allow the exchange rate to adjust to equate the supply and demand for foreign currency i hope the concept is clear okay thank you